The Honourable Member from Thornhill. Prime Minister paused the pain of his carbon tax for 3% of families in region where he is plummeting in the polls. The Liberal Minister from Newfoundland said if people in other regions wanted the same pause, that they should have elected Liberals. Mm. But people in York Region elected Liberal MPs. In fact, seven of them, and yet their constituents aren't getting the pause. Oh, right. Yesterday, these MPs could have voted to take the tax off for the residents of York Region, but they voted with the Prime Minister. So can anybody from York Region and stand up and explain their choice to leave their constituents in the cold. The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As I have said a number of times in this House, we have taken action that addresses affordability for particularly vulnerable Canadians. Heating oil costs two to four times that of natural gas. It accelerated by 75% in 2022, but we've done it in a manner that addresses the climate crisis at the same time and ensures affordability for people going forward. It will save $2,500 a year. It applies to people who live in every province and territory in this country, so long as provinces and territories step up. The shame in this chamber is that this party has no plan to address the climate crisis. I don't even know if they believe it, but they certainly don't act as though they actually think it's important. The Honourable Member from Thornhill. It certainly doesn't help the people in Newmarket, in Aurora, in Richmond Hill, in Woodbridge, in Markham, in Stouffville, or in North York. All of these communities got sold out by their Liberal MPs, and they can't even tell people why. They had a choice to stand with their communities, and instead they stood with the Prime Minister, and now they're hiding and hoping that everybody forgets. If these MPs won't listen to their constituents, won't advocate for them in the House of Commons, and won't even stand to defend their vote, then what are they even doing here? Here!